When I say bananas, you say peppers. And today I come to you guys with a mysterious Ziploc bag. A couple of months ago, we unboxed a mysterious Ziploc bag of pencils. And that was fun. I thoroughly enjoyed that. And I feel like you guys did as well. So we are back again today with a mysterious Ziploc bag. Today's bag is going to contain rare Japanese miniature keychains and charms. I actually ordered this from somebody that I've been shopping from their shop for years now. Her name is Squishy Noodle on Instagram. And I don't know how she gets these super amazing rare, like squishy charms. This is a good example of the kind of stuff that I've gotten from her over the years. Look at this. It's a keychain and it's like a little plastic. It looks like a food container and you open it up and what's inside? Freaking noodles, fake noodles, but they feel real. They feel like real. Look, touch the noodles. They're just there like that. I don't know where or how she finds these amazing things. I don't know her sources, but uh, I am excited every time like something catches my eye and I order a little treat from her shop. So there are a couple of things in this bag that I know what they are and like what they're gonna be. And then the rest of it is just like a complete mystery because I can tell that she like just sent some bonus items. And either way, I thought that they would be fun to look at. So let's open this up. Oh. See, I wasn't expecting a jingle bell. Santa's here. Up oh, first, I'm gonna show you guys the thing that I knew was going to be in here. And this is ridiculously exciting to me. So it's a miniature CD. So this looks like a jewel case. If any of you guys recognize this band, I mean, I'm sure it is a real band. And I don't know if, no, no, there's no way I'm gonna be able to read that. Like the font is so tiny, it might not really say legible words. I was gonna try and see if I could find a date and then maybe that would help us to discover the band. But yeah, it's so tiny, it's like illegible. This looks like a completely real jewel case. And then you open it up and look at that. There's an actual little tiny CD in here and it comes out. Look, I should have shown you guys that up close, but look at that. You can lift the CD out and it actually looks like a CD. And that is just so adorable to me. It's so cute. See, I feel like this is the kind of stuff that I just hoard in my junk drawers because I'm afraid that I would hang this on a keychain and then lose part of it. Oh, look. Oh, this looks like it's a sticker actually of the band. Cause that's what I was kind of thinking about doing is just using this jewel case because it actually seems to come apart. Now, if you're a million years old like me and you used to make your friends mix CDs, do you remember like taking apart the jewel case and like making your own cover art? That was always like part of my favorite part of making mixed CDs was like designing my own jewel cases. Cause I was honestly thinking about doing that with this, like taking it apart, and designing like a miniature, I don't know, deer hunter CD or something. Anyway, three minutes talking about jewel cases. Okay, up next is something that I did not know was gonna be in here. And I love charms like this. I think she sent me a Donald Duck one years ago, but they are so cool. They're like air filled. And then they have like a cute moving character inside. Jack Skellington is really appealing to me lately. I don't know why. I've never been like a super into Nightmare Before Christmas person. But the other day on Instagram, I saw these roses. It's like you could order, they come in a little coffin box and you can pick like any color of roses that you want. And it's like a Nightmare Before Christmas themed like rose arrangement. I feel like I'm seeing all of that because like Valenslimes Day is coming. So anyway, I don't know why all this like Jack Skellington stuff is appealing to me lately, but that is so cute that she sent this. So yeah, see, this is something I would definitely like put on my bag 
if I was going to Disney, which win, win. I will go ahead and show you guys this too, because I just so happened to see him in here as well. So this is really cool because it looks like it's the same thing, but different. It's like one of these Jack Skellingtons is trapped in this little air bubble coffin. And then this looks like the exact same one. Cause I was like, oh my gosh, it's so cute that his arms and legs have so much movement to them. And so here is another little Jack Skellington keychain. Up next is the other one that I knew was coming. Ooh, oh, it looks like a little bit different than I thought that it would. I, for some reason, I thought that this charm was gonna have a picture of the Eiffel Tower on it. I don't know why. Also that just like really appealed to me. I don't know why. This was something else that I have wanted for ever which is a really teeny tiny vintage phone flip phone style keychain so look at how cute this is i used to have a phone that looked really similar to this and then inside it actually does flip open and there is like a little keypad i don't know why i thought the buttons would be pressable they're not it's so cute does not have an eiffel tower on it but like i guess that's not who cares not a big deal um although i do love the eiffel tower and this brand of phone i guess is called a yodel is that a real was there like actually yodel phone is that is that real and then this charm like hangs so weirdly like look at that it like hangs off of the base. I would probably alter this a little bit and I was planning on using it like as maybe some kind of like jewelry thing, like making a miniature earring or hanging it off of a necklace as a charm. So I would actually probably just like take this threaded portion off and then put a jump ring here because you could still flip it and completely open it like that. But yeah, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think that I could do with this that would be cool. Or should I just keep it as a keychain? I could also just do that. Um, up next is Snoopy and he's so cute. He's another one of those like super movement, like super movable keychains. He looks so cool. He's like a faded Snoopy. I don't know if he is actually like faded from the years of love and wear and tear. Like maybe somebody put him in a window or something and that's why he doesn't look like his traditional Snoopy colors anymore. This would make a really cute necklace too, honestly. I feel like this one has even more movement than the Jack Skellington one. Of course he has like ears and stuff, so he has like more points of movement, but am I the only one that's like super fascinated by these keychains? <laughs> okay, up next is something that is so cute. Oh my gosh, I had no idea. I don't, well, I should have known by like the literal shape of the Mickey ears that this is one of the Disney vinyl collectibles. You know how we always do like blind boxes? I think we have done some Vinylmation ones before, but I've never seen this one. This one is meant to be lemonade. Look at its face. That is hilarious. Frozen lemonade. And then... He's got the little straw design. That is so cute, honestly. <laughs> Up next, this is, you know what? I think I saw this one as well because I thought this looked so much like, um, I know I'm about to say this guy's name wrong, Dolly, but I don't, Salvatore? Isn't that how you say that first name? Salvador, or is it Salvador? Salvator. I don't know. Look at how, I think that this was a um, remint actually. You guys know we just did some mystery remint unboxings like last week or something of these convenience store set. I will link it in the info box down below in case you haven't seen it yet. But Remint also makes keychains as well. And I don't know what set this was, but it's so cool. So it's like a melted clock stopwatch kind of thing. And there's actually like this clear drippiness coming off of it. It just looks so cool, so weird and I love it. And then we have another one that I'm pretty sure was part of the same. They look the same, but maybe not. I don't know, maybe this was just like dripping cookie from another collection, but that is what it is. It looks just like an Oreo cookie, sandwich cookie. And the frosting is dripping out of the cookie. It looks so cool. And there is just something like so realistic looking to me about the frosting. I think because it's like uneven 
in places. It just looks, it looks amazing. And I just threw it on the ground. And it looks like we have just a couple of tiny um, charms left. We finally solved the mystery of what the jingle bell is. And I just learned this bear's name the other day because I was watching uh, this channel that I recently discovered that is so good, so interesting. The channel name is Abroad in Japan, but he makes like some of the coolest videos I've seen in a long time. And he did a video all about like 10 scary Japanese mascots. Kuramon? That sounds somehow right and not right at the same time, but he's actually the mascot for a train. I think it is our subway. You can tell I live somewhere that has like no public transport because I don't even know the difference between a train and a subway. <laughs> is a train a subway? Anyway, he's very cute and he always looks like scared, but this is like so adorable. It's like a little bear uh, jingle bell. And then it has these other like plant beads. I guess they're beads, I don't know. <laughs> you guys, today is a struggle for me. And then we have this guy, and I don't know if this is like a character or what this is, but he is adorable. It's this little monkey, and he just has such a cute little expression on his face. And then this looks like it would be part of a, and I never say this right either, a yin yang or a yin yang. And also now that I'm looking at it, it kind of looks like a magical clear claw of some sort. Really cute. So those are all of the magical mystery keychain charms that we have to look at today. I know today's video is like kind of short and sweet, but I thought it'd be fun to just like dash in and make these like little short videos sometimes. Cause I do really love making daily videos, like a part of my day, at least like sitting down and filming a video every single day. I used to use my YouTube channel as like a journal. And that's why I feel like I was like consistently uploading every day. And I miss doing that. I feel like it's just like a good exercise for me to get back into. Let me know if you guys like these shorter style videos. It's still like 15 minutes long. I don't even know what I'm saying. By the time I edit it, it'll probably be shorter than that. But anyway, let me know all of you guys' thoughts and opinions in the comments down below. Hopefully my energy seems okay today. I actually just finished filming another video where I was like unboxing a PR makeup crate. And I don't know why that video was like such a struggle for me to film and get through. Like, I feel like I was like tongue tied the whole time. I'm in the process of like filming my sleeping or I'm in the process of filming my sleeping schedule. I'm in the process of fixing my sleeping schedule right now. So I did wake up like right before 6 a.m. I think so. It's all about like finding my energy now, like finding my good energy, like in the morning versus in the middle of the night. And so I think that that's like a big part of it. But now I have this video filmed and I don't even know if I'm gonna edit it or upload it because I feel like I was just getting so tongue tied. Anyway, now I'm just rambling. But let me know all of you guys' thoughts and opinions in the comments down below. If you're not already and you'd like to be, hit the button down below, subscribe, and become a member of the Banana Pepper Squad today. And until I see you guys again, stay happy, stay healthy, stay sassy, stay banana peppery. I love you guys so, so much. And I will be back again very, very soon. Bye. I'm sorry, Kermit. Bye.